Hi guys this is Ram Kumar again uh, representing Vidya Vikas Vijayawada I'll now discuss the listening task which will be tested in IELTS examination This test is common for both the academic and general training modules There are four sections which uh, the aspirants will have to uh, cover within 30 minutes an additional 10 minutes will be given to work your answers on the answer sheet actually you have to write them section 1 will be a dialogue between two speakers on a general information gathering task in section 2 you will hear a monologue on a general topic section 3 will again be a conversation involving either two or more than two persons the content will be of an academic nature for example a few students may discuss some research topic or project work and the fourth section will be a lecture on an academic topic it will be like a lecture delivered by an expert and uh, the aspirants must note that the audio recording will be played only once of course some time will be given before the recording commences so that you may study the questions and anticipate what will follow a total of 40 questions will be given usually the questions will be using different words to rephrase parts of the recorded text without changing the meaning the candidates will find them easier to understand each section carries 10 questions with one mark for each every section will consist of a variety of questions you may be asked to write either words or numbers the type of questions will have to be answered in the form of notes tables flow charts or summary completion there will be short answer questions and sentence completions other types of questions will prompt you to label a diagram or a plan or a map you will have to do matching and also attempt multiple choice questions the most important advice is that you should listen very very carefully and follow the instructions meticulously you will need to practice to understand how native speakers of english from different countries speak with different accents tone and pronunciation a few tips for you first you must understand the context specific details numbers spoken in the recordings second you should be able to identify the speakers the function understand different categories matching items completing notes and also completing tables then you should be able to distinguish relevant matter from distractors and recognize uh, paraphrasing you should also be able to select the expected items from the list given in the recordings you should understand descriptions of places follow directions label maps and answer multiple choice questions The recordings will prompt you to understand mechanical parts, describe uh, actions and process and label diagrams. Uh, a tricky part comes next. You will have to understand and identify attitudes, opinion of the speaker. Distinguish persuasions and suggestions and reach decisions. A section will expect you to identify main ideas given by the speaker in his lecture. You need to understand a uh, logical connection of ideas, explanation, complete summary and short answer questions. Finally, the listening the listening test will expect you to do table completion and notes completion. You should know how to compare and contrast ideas and use notes to follow a talk don't panic it looks as if the requirements and expectations are endless surprisingly many aspirants score 
a high band in listening test which will help you to uh, to to balance or to boost the average of the remaining bands for instance let's assume you get a band of 9 uh, in listening 8 in reading 7 in writing and 6.5 in speaking your overall band may exceed 7.5 which is quite good you may even be eligible for studying abroad or emigrating with lots of practice and by listening to various youtube channels on listening test the aspirants can confidently secure very high band so good luck